Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here at the new house. Today the only project plan is to build the new garage and move everything over from the main house garage. I've been in the kitchen here just watching a few YouTube videos here on the laptop and eating a bowl of cereal. Let's head out to the garage and get going. If you do end up enjoying today's video please drop a like it's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now I have decided to go with a very unique design here for the detached building and it is going to be a 25 by 35 building and we do have a section of it for a garage and then the other section will be the storage and then alongside the entire back of it we do have an area here for all of the trailers so let's hop here into the store get it plays and then we will also have to do a few things here with the driveway and a few other small details here is a building I decided to go with here. I really wanted to kind of go custom here with it just to be as unique as possible here. I think it will kind of stay with this rotation as well. And I do kind of want it further away from the house right about there. Seems to be good. Perfect. Let's get going here on this driveway. Now I really want to keep the characteristics of the Wandy driveway feel over here. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we'll probably kind of just branch it off from over here. So let's kind of get going on this. I'm really excited though to be adding this garage finally to our house. Definitely going to look awesome and I will definitely free up lots of room because our garage right now is jam packed with the sport cars, the uh, truck and so many other things as well. And why don't we also, I would say uh, we could make another pass here, but I think we'll just kind of go with that. So that looks to be good right about there. I do want a little bit of a bigger pad here, but I wanted an area that would just fit us really well and I didn't really want to shed this this time around we had a few sheds in our series uh, before but I thought why don't we change it up I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far let me know how it is down below my days have been so far really good all right let's get going here on the last little bit of the gravel we really don't need this to be asphalt now you guys have been really enjoying the homeowner series which is awesome I can't wait for everything uh, to come here with it now what I want to do is I want to add a flower underneath there and I definitely want to add a pressure washer as well once again we're going here with these flower pots I'm a big fan of them and I think we'll probably just go with one right below the window and we have the brand new Karcher pressure washer which we'll put right about there here it is guys, it is completely built. Now we will have an electric company coming out midweek to run the wiring all the way over to the house. Until then we'll have to keep those garage doors up here. But let's kind of take a full walk around here on it. I'm really excited we'll get those uh, flowers placed there. But you guys can see really do like it. Now a big, big thing with this is that we have 12 foot tall ceilings. Our previous garage was 10 foot. And the plan is to kind of fully build this garage out with compressor, cabinets, flooring, a car lift, and a few other things. So the plan is to with the Bronco and maybe another project truck here and I think that would be pretty cool but let's kind of check out the storage area I think we'll first kind of come through here so you guys can see pretty awesome storage area it's almost uh, twice the size of our previous storage area this will be for the mower the toys and I think that we could also fit one of these smaller trailers in here let's see if the doors will open up sometimes they are a bit sticky here since we don't have the power but I, I thought why don't we change it up and kind of do the barn style doors they look so cool and uh, they uh, uh, look awesome here so let's see if we could do it sometimes I have ran into a problem here and there but we'll see if it opens right up and there we have it so we have that so I think we'll first probably put the Bronco then these and finally we'll finish off here with the trailers now if you do end up enjoying the video and haven't already I do ask that you please subscribe it's much appreciated here as it helps out with the channel we are growing growing faster and faster towards 100,000 subscribers and I am posting on Instagram every single day here some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Now last night I actually did move both the cars out. I really didn't want to start them up this early morning, 8 a.m. on a Saturday because people are sleeping in and we definitely want to be the best neighbors we have and in the area because the GT3 and the R8 are both extremely loud here. So what I'm thinking, we might put the lift on the right hand side. We'll have to decide there, but we won't have any problems ceiling wise. But just look at the size of this area. It looks so big and wow, we'll have lots of room here. So we got the Bronco, but we have so many other things like the mower and I believe we have the 1025R and uh, the dirt bike along with the three-wheeler. 
Now with this homeowner series, I am trying to be as realistic as possible here, just trying to uh, do a few upgrades, really improve everything over time as well. And uh, for a moment there, I thought the casters weren't working, but it's just because we were there on the concrete. And we'll have to come around here. So that's one thing we'll have to work on is that maybe we'll have to do a little bit of work here to this concrete lip. But I'm really excited, though, to finally have this garage. It's always nice uh, to kind of have a garage that's detached from the house area. I think that's always a nice thing. So we'll put them over here. And I think we'll probably put the small trailer right along the wall. We have enough room to fit both trailers here. Uh, but that small one, uh, I think it's the uh, five-foot trailer, just won't fit. I think up next, why don't we get the uh, 1025 heart? It's going to be nice to really have this garage cleaned out. It's been jam-packed. A few guys even have been pointing it out that we just don't have enough room at this uh, house area. But uh, the goal is to put the sport cars, the wife's SUV, and my truck there. And everything else will be back over here. Now, I really want to get going on the landscaping on the property, but I was really waiting for this. And then we could get going on planting trees and some other things to add some more color. Now I am thinking maybe we sell this uh, 1025R here, maybe for a Kubota BX, uh, just to uh, try out a different brand as well. But like I did touch on, the main goal of today was getting this built and putting everything organized. And then I do want to organize this as well. And then we'll probably do a few other things if we have time. And uh, I am also working on a new in-ground pool here for us. I really don't want kind of a rectangle pool. I want one that has curves and is a little bit deeper. And maybe even a, a possible diving board. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. And let's head on over. Now this three-wheeler is so much fun to just drive around here. Maybe uh, we'll have to see if we can find maybe a, a Honda four-wheeler as well. I think that would be a pretty nice thing to add. I just realized just how big this is. With all these inside, we will still have plenty of room here. And that's always good. You want to do a little bit bigger than what you really need to grow into it as well. But, uh, wow, just look at those two sport cars. Now, we are going to be selling the R8 here, maybe for another Porsche. But I really want to buy an American Muscle. So we might just have to go with uh, the Hellcat. A lot of you guys have been requesting, why don't we get the Hellcat? We might just have to buy it, if not at least rent it, uh, for a little bit of time. I'm actually surprised at how quick and easy this was going. I thought this would take a very long time here for us, but we just haven't had a problem with anything here today. So what I want to do, kind of get this garage organized, and then we'll use the uh, F-250 Tremor to kind of get those trailers moved around here. But you guys can see, wow, this will look awesome. These cars are a bit close together, but nice four-car attached is awesome. I really do like these doors. They're so tall, and they're just uh, perfect as well. I kind of like having two big doors instead of four small ones. I think it just kind of looks uh, very nice as well awesome so we got that done now I really do want to build out this garage as well I want to kind of remove everything even the graphics on the wall and I want to replace them with actual pictures of all of our uh, cars as well that are farm some actual pictures and uh, maybe go uh, when the Sun sets out and just kind of take pictures of them just cool things like that that to add our own personal taste so we'll get this backed up just a little bit and we do have to get those plates switched out there that's kind of a bit funny but let's hop here in the tremor and we will be trading this in soon we will be going truck shopping uh, we just gotta uh, kind of get going here on some more projects at the house before we do that so let's see I first really want to do the enclosed trailer here this is a really big trailer and for this I don't think I will drive on the driveway here we, we probably won't need to we'll just kind of just drive on the grass and we got attached here this trailer is pretty cool and uh, we'll keep it up uh, for a long time here we actually got to close that door and that's something but that's okay now, as you guys can see, I did put about 10, uh, 10 feet of gravel here just to help out. And we don't always want to have the asphalt going the entire way. But I really do like having the trailers out of weather. Uh, they are expensive trailers. We don't have to worry about snow, anything all over them as well. So, wow, look at this trailer port. And right there seems to be good. Perfect. It's just a nice day here at the house. Sometimes we are going out and about shopping, but that doesn't always have to be the day. And I will have to say, this garage here, this 25 by 35, was just over $35,000. It was a bit pricey, and we do have to do some more things to it. I really want to drywall it instead of just having the uh, plywood. So maybe we'll have to buy some dry, uh, drywall materials, everything like that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Maybe even tomorrow we'll get going on doing uh, some of that there. But I'm actually excited for the pressure washer 
sure. And I think we'll wash the uh, Tremor when we're done. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing. Now, this one's going to be tricky, uh, but uh, wow. Now, I, I kind of like it having it kind of off to the side and away from the house area as well. And we might do some more things back here. But I want to add some more trees, some more bushes, just to add some more privacy here as well. And this trailer is going to be a little tricky to kind of get backed in. And I'd like to thank all of you guys for all the support here over these summer months. It's been a lot of fun uploading every single day here, and I can't wait for what's to come here. I'm getting really close to revealing a big, big surprise that I cannot wait to reveal. It's going to be so cool, and you guys will definitely really enjoy it. So there we go, guys. Both trailers fit here, which is awesome. That's kind of get the small trailer. Now, I really want to watch this Ford as well. We'll do that, and then I think we might do another thing or two. We'll just kind of have to see, but I really want to try out the Karcher. Maybe uh, we will replace the one at the house with that Karcher. So these barn doors are not powered here. That's something we might want to look into doing, but I'm, I'm just not sure how these uh, barn doors would be powered, but I kind of like it. Just kind of brings kind of the uh, farm feel here to it. Let's see. Always a bit tricky. I will have to say to exactly find where this garage door, uh, this uh, barn door opens. And let's see if we can give it another try. We just want to open it. We just want to open it. This one closed. So we'll open that and I'm not sure what we can do here actually we could probably just roll it right by so we'll get it disconnected and we'll just do it by hand but I will have to say probably one of the best trailers we've purchased here is just so versatile with the ramps come off on either side we could have it as a flatbed trailer it's just so nice and small as well that even the uh, wife can tell it there so there we go we got the trailer in here although I'm not sure what's happening the door was working there for a few moments and now this one doesn't want to work as well there we go let's get this truck washed and then I think we'll probably just it a day. It's been a long day here for us and it will uh, be pretty awesome. So many, so much projects coming up that I really can't wait for as well. But let's get this washed. Let's try out the new pressure wash here. Wow, pretty cool wand as well. And we'll get washing. This has a ton more power. Wow, really putting a lot of uh, pressure there on the wrist. And sometimes when you uh, press the uh, pressure washers, you uh, really have to kind of catch it sometimes. But we're just washing the uh, tremor here. And wow, this thing looks awesome. So there we go, guys. We got everything done here. I can't wait for what's to come. You guys can see we do need lights in here. We do need a ceiling. I really don't want to see those rafter, the uh, rafters and a few other things like that. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video here uh, with the homeowner series. Getting the brand new uh, garage. Uh, it's a 25 by 35. Very unique design as well. And it looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And subscribe for more.